guys my name is Ishika Jain and I welcome you to Brain Vibe Today in this video I will be talking about mutual funds what are the types of mutual funds and all the things that you need to know before investing in mutual funds so keep watching till the end So first of all let's understand what mutual fund is Mutual fund is created by asset management companies. They are managed by the managers who are experts. They take decision for investing our money in different investment opportunities. So basically, they pool in money from different investors and then they reinvest the money in different investment opportunities. Now one can invest in mutual fund through lump sum or SIPs. SIPs start from rupees 500. Now there are many people who are switching from mutual funds to small case. Now what small case is is a whole different topic. So I'll create a video for it. For that you need to press the bell icon and subscribe to our channel so that you get notified whenever I upload the new video. Now there are large cap companies, small cap companies, mid cap companies in mutual funds. So large cap companies means who have large market capitalization. So the risk and the return both for such companies is generally low. The returns are low because the company has already grown at a level and then the rate of growing is generally low. But yeah, it is less risky. And talking about small cap companies, they are the new companies which have entered in the market. So the risk is a little more and thus the returns are also quite high. And talking about mid cap companies, uh, it's a medium capitalization type of companies which have both factors. So yeah, now talking about different types of mutual fund. We have equity mutual fund, debt mutual fund, hybrid mutual fund, solution oriented mutual fund and index funds talking about equity mutual funds now many of us want to invest in stock market but uh, the risk factor and the return factor comes in between so one can invest in equity mutual funds wherein the mutual fund experts the managers reinvest our amount in different companies they generally diversify the amount that we invest in different companies so that even if one stock crashes, our whole, our whole investment doesn't get affected much. So in equity mutual funds, we have sector funds, ELSS funds and many more types of funds. If I keep talking about each type, it would be a whole long video. So you can research about it on yourself, but uh, I'll try to cover few of the important funds. So talking about sector funds, uh, it includes basically investing in a particular sector. So like if you want to invest in agriculture sector, you can invest in sector funds. Then we have ELSS. ELSS funds help in uh, for tax saving investment. ELSS funds are quite beneficial as we get exemption in ATC section. Uh, as we have exemption amount up to 1.5 lakh. So yeah, these are the types of equity mutual funds. Now debt mutual funds include bonds, government securities, treasury bills, commercial papers and such type of instruments. Debt, in, debt mutual funds have low risk and also low return. So one can see where does a mutual fund company diversify your portfolio like in which companies they are investing your money. So in that way you would be assured about your money and we can check such diversification through money control app like each mutual fund company have different diversification. So yeah we can check about it. Uh, in debt funds we also have liquid funds. Now liquid funds mean we can redeem our cash, redeem our investment by selling it at any point of time. So the duration is from one day to 91 days. Generally people who are not assured about the time of their investment and their money is just lying around. So they try to invest in liquid funds. The returns are as high as savings account. I would say more than that. 
it's around 7% so yeah this is about debt mutual funds hybrid mutual funds includes more than one asset class it is a combination of debt equity and sometimes even gold or real estate now this is for those people who want good returns like equity and who also want low risk so they can invest in hybrid mutual funds the main advantage over here is diversification then we have solution oriented mutual funds so generally these type of funds are uh, like when we have certain goal in our mind uh, like we want money for our marriage for education fund so these type of funds can be uh, achieved through solution oriented mutual funds then we have index funds through index funds we can directly invest in nifty 50 or sensex with the help and guidance of our mutual fund experts now talking about the charges for investing in mutual fund scheme the first one is expense ratio now whatever income is generated by investing the money by the mutual fund expert he doesn't distribute all the money among the investors he keep a certain portion of money for himself as his own income so that is called an expense ratio it varies between 1 to 3% so lower the expense ratio better the mutual fund scheme for us the second we have is entry load entry load is a percentage divided on the purchase of a mutual fund scheme the entry load reduces the investor investment amount for an investor now the third one and the last one is exit load now exit load is the percentage of charges that we have to pay while we want to exit from our mutual fund scheme before the stipulated time so yeah these are the basic three charges that one needs to pay for investing in a mutual fund scheme so yeah that's it about this video if you like it if it was insightful for you please give it a big fat thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep watching thank you see you in the next video